Did you ever think that you could have a cocktail that tastes like a Tootsie Roll? Okay, I've got it for you here. It tastes exactly like those Tootsie Rolls you used to collect in your pillowcase after Halloween. It's a very, very simple drink to make, and I'm using this amazing chocolate rum from Silver Ray. Silver Ray is a rum that's made in Panama. Um, it is not sweet like you would think. It's not like a chocolate liqueur. So you've got the flavors of the chocolate that's really, really deep, but yet it's still dry. And so what we're gonna do, very simply, um, I'm gonna use basil instead of mint here, and I'm gonna use peaches as the fruit. And here in California, we still have a few peaches left in this season, and I love just using a basic yellow peach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut open. Now, typically, if I take a peach, right, and it's about the size, you know, if my fist is grabbing it, that's a good size peach that I'm gonna take about a half of that. So that's how I gauge it, is how, how I can hold it in my hand. And look at how nice and juicy it is. So I'll just cut about that piece off. It's a little bit less than a half. And there's so many different kinds of basils to use. Um, I've got a Thai basil. I've got this globe basil. I've got this purple opal basil. Um, you probably know that sweet, sweet Italian basil that's the most common, the big green leaves. That's perfectly fine to use. Matter of fact, that's what I originally used it with. And um, they all have slightly different profiles. Some might be a little bit more cinnamony. Some might have a little bit of licorice notes. Just pick a basil that you have. They're all going to work great. And they also make uh, great garnishes. So I'm going to use this purple opal basil. And how I gauge is like these are different sized leaves. So I'll just do a nice healthy pinch of that. So you can kind of see what that is. It's probably three or four small leaves. I'll put it in there. This is so aromatic. Like it's an instant, instant um, you know, blast of flavor. And really simple. It's three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. I'm actually using these amazing little key limes here that I got. Now, in the kind of the, the vein of a mojito, I mean, you could cut those up and muddle those in as well because there is a lot of flavor that you get, um, you know, from the juice and the rinds. But like I said, I'm just going to keep this really clean. This is the original recipe. I'm going to use an agave syrup which is a one-to-one -one ratio of agave nectar to water. I have a really simple uh, video on how to make this on the, on the channel here and why I make this syrup. Uh, it just has a great viscosity. And you would think that I would cut down on this because of the chocolate, but like I said, this is nice and dry. So you can get away with putting um, a three-quarters of an ounce of the agave in there. And I'm going to muddle it. I have a great uh, little segment on tools. This is an OXO muddler. I love it because of the teeth and that. And I just want to kind of chop everything up. I want to get the basil nice and diced up. I want to get the peaches all juicy and broken up as well. And then I'm going to do two ounces of cacao rum. And then we'll get some ice. Now, what I like to do is just take a simple old-fashioned glass here, right? But what I've done is I've taken the peaches and I've frozen them because sometimes there are you might have too many peaches and you don't want them to spoil. But you just put them in the freezer. And what you can do is you can shave different sizes of the peaches. No one's going to really know. Just so that it can fit the glass a little nicer. But what's happening is now you've created a little bit more surface area now, right? So now it's going to be cold, but I'll have an, enough liquid that will go through that. And then let's put some ice in here to shake. And I don't double strain this. I like, I want some of those pieces of the peaches and of the basil, especially this purple basil is just blasts of flavor. And because I have a quite a few of these basils that are flowering, let's use this purple one since so it would be a nice, that's the other thing, you really think about contrast here, you know? That's nice and light, let's use the dark basil, right? And there should be a nice little opening there to get that in there, perfect. And what's important about that is not that it's too much in your face, but you get the smell of it, right? So we'll take a sip here. Mm. It tastes exactly like a Tootsie Roll. 
but yet it's not sweet. It's dry, it's refreshing. It's the perfect, perfect kind of warm summer drink because we have, we have heat here until October. So really simple, it's the Tootsie Rollover. Have fun with it if you need to use plums instead of peaches, any other kind of fruit. But the thing is, is that peach really makes it the Tootsie Rollover. Cheers. Mm. Wow, delicious.